Um, and then even as gold holders, you have to understand the properties of gold, which is that uh, you know, you're probably going to get diluted by 1.5% per year on average, uh, which is obviously a much better figure than US dollars that get diluted at roughly 7% per year long term on average or emerging market currencies that on average get diluted in the double digits per year. Uh, and so understanding your expectations around dilution and understanding who, who controls the levers of those dilution. You know, mm -hmm. if the fiat currency, it only takes a small number of decision makers to really dilute uh, your savings and your wages. Uh, whereas uh, something like gold, there's, there's no central authority that can just decide there's gonna be 10% more gold this year, right? It's, it's this very decentralized, process of miners going around, exploring for it, permitting it, uh, building the mine, putting a lot of energy and labor into it, uh, refining the metal. Uh, it's a very expensive, uh, time consuming process. And so it's very hard to rapidly change that unless there's some amazing new technology to get, you know, gold off the sea floor or from an asteroid or, you know, whatever, whatever could potentially maybe break that cycle still not really in the intermediate term to worry about. Uh, so it all comes down to what ledger are you trusting uh, for your your store of value and your, you know, the what you what you denominate your contracts in. And then even on the international scale, you know, if a Brazilian company and a South Korean company want to do some sort of trade with each other, uh, it's quite possible that the Brazilian company doesn't trust South Korean currency. The South Korean company doesn't trust Brazilian currency because if you denominate something in the other's currency they could just print a lot more of it. Yeah. And so generally speaking, they, they go to a third part and they say, well, let's trust the United States currency. That, that's kind of what a global reserve currency is. It's kind of like the largest, most liquid, um, most sound, even though it's, it's still being diluted. It's just saying that neither of these companies and their governments can kind of unilaterally shift the contract around. And what they have to rely on is the United States with its little bit more checks and powers and longer track record of success, at least in, you know, in, in the scope of a business contract term um, that they kind of trust that ledger. So a lot of these decisions come down to what exactly do you trust uh, to, to denominate your contracts in, uh, including your wages, and then also to store value in.